Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is Tech Flow. Today we're at Thirlby Motors. They've invited us down and they said you can do a video on any car you want. So I said, if you've got an electric car, because I don't know about them, Jed doesn't know about them, not many people do. I've got a list of all of these features. Let's check out the Nissan Leaf. Let's go through all of its tech features, take it for a test drive and just see what we think. This should be really fun. Let's do this. <laughs> So as far as the general aesthetics are concerned, you've got all of your climate control here and above that you've actually got your screen. And here you've got your electronic dashboard, there's no dials, it's all electronic in this car. So this is the Leaf Techno and it's the standard edition loan car here at Thilby Motors. And with that you get a heated steering wheel, heated seats, heated door mirrors, you get a Bose surround sound system in this car with seven speakers and subwoofers, you've got a 360 degree monitor with with parking and reverse assist. You've got 17 inch alloy wheels and you've got LED headlights with follow me home functionality. So here's the key and we've got keyless entry. So you don't have to put the key in anything. You just put it in the center console down here, press the start button with your foot on the brake and the car starts up and it's ready to go. So we've got our heated steering wheel here with all of our buttons, like we've got source, answer phone, volume buttons, all these controls on the wheel itself. We've got a touch interface over here. Now I've connected my phone to it, let's check out this Bose surround sound system and see if it is up to Bose standards. We do love sound here at TechFlow, so let's open Spotify and play some music. So I've connected the car to the phone via the simple interface on here, the simple touchscreen interface. Turn the volume up, let's take a listen to this sound quality. Pretty solid. So we've got full media control on here. So we've got our volume control. We can skip and seek tracks through the touchscreen interface. So you can just leave your phone there and it's absolutely fine. You can do it all on here uh, and it's working fine with Spotify and Apple Music as far as I've tested. Now, as far as the maps are concerned, with this being electric car, you need to be able to charge this thing up. So the map is fully equipped with telling you and updating all of the charging stations, wherever they are, wherever they may be at your local Tesco or at someone's house it will tell you where the charging stations are if you're running low on your battery so with this being a fully electric car i was really intrigued to find out what the range was going to be how long are we going to be able to drive before we get to charge this thing now this thing has no gas motor in it at all it is 100 electric and they say you're going to get about 155 miles from 100 to zero on the battery realistically about 120 miles now it has a feature called b mode and if you put it in b mode it actually regenerates uh, electricity and charges the battery when you break not quite sure how it does that but that's fairly insane uh, and also it has an eco button you press that and you'll get a few more miles out of it but you won't get the response and the torque if it's not in eco mode now this car is also equipped with the Nissan EZ facility and what you can do is install an app on your smartphone or computer and if you wake up at 6 in the morning or 7 in the morning whenever you wake up and it's really cold weather outside you can click a button on your phone and it'll whack on the heaters in the car so when you get in the car to go on your commute to work your car is already as soon as you get into it all the fans are on all your climate is ready and the car's nice and heated up ready for you to go instead of you having to get into a freezing cold car on a winter's morning you just put your heater on half an hour before you get in you get in your car bish bash bosh it's nice and warm for you. So the main thing with an electric car is how do you charge this thing? Now it has a port in the front which you can open with a button on the dashboard or with the key. And this thing, it says 30 minutes of a charge will give you 80% in, in, in like half an hour. But for that you need to use what's called a rapid charger, I've been told. However, to charge from zero to 100 in your home location or in a home environment, you park this thing in the garage or on your driveway at home, it is gonna take about 12 hours to charge from zero to 100. Now the sat-nav is intelligent, if you tell it where you're going or you're planning a route, it will make sure that uh, if you are going to run out of um, out of charge, it will direct you to uh, a charging station or it will let you know that yes, you are going to get there and back home with X amount of battery left in, in, in the tank. So that's really intelligent and it's just it's peace of mind at the end of the day. 
And it's even that intelligent that if you have the air conditioning on in the car or you're using any of the climate facilities, it will tell you how much battery percentage that is actually draining to help you sort of narrow down what is using all of your precious charge and all of your miles. Speaking of which, the Leaf can travel at 95 miles an hour. So let's get to the bit we've all been waiting for. Let's take this thing for a test drive, shall we? So as far as boot space is concerned, let's see if we've got our charging cable in here and an accessory pack, and it can also easily fit in the 9 bot Mini. Um, that's your boot space, there we go. Right, so let's take this thing for a test drive. Put your foot on the brake, you've got the key inside the car, it can detect that, so you then you just hold the start button down, it'll go through its sequence. What I'm actually gonna do is put down the window, right? Now the window is down, and as you can see, we're currently driving. Now I'm going to drive out onto this road here. I want you guys to listen for any engine noise. As you can hear, all you can hear is wind noise. There's no engine noise at all. And to be fair, it's actually quite peaceful. So now if I put this thing into B mode, now I've got a B on here, what this is pretty much doing is whenever I put my foot on the brake, it's regenerating a little bit of power for the battery. So it's a little bit more eco-friendly. Now if we put this thing back into normal drive, we're obviously going to get the better throttle response. So let's test this out down here. It's really not that bad. Actually making use here of the uh, rear uh, reversing camera as a reverse back out onto the road there we go so a few other things to know as well uh, on the technology side of the car is when it's actually charging if that charging gets interrupted or the charging stops um, it will physically send you a text message right to your phone to let you know notify you that the car has uh, stopped charging or receiving power, which is great so you don't need to babysit your car. And it's also great from a security perspective uh, as well. Um, obviously, if someone's going to steal your car, they're going to have to disconnect it from the wall. Therefore, you'll get the text message saying it stopped charging. It will also email you to let you know when it's fully charged, just for that peace of mind to know that when you wake up in your morning, you're going to have 100% in the tank. So this has been the Nissan Leaf, the first ever full electric car I've sat inside, driven and seen and heard of the technology inside this thing. It's really, really incredible knowing how to charge these things, how long they theoretically can be driven for on a full charge, the eco mode, how it can regenerate power with the braking. The Nissan Leaf, thanks for Dolby Motors for bringing us down here and letting us have a look at this car and bring you guys this video. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.